I've got one cup of salted butter, to that I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of icing sugar, this is also called confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, so we'll get that in there, there we go. I'm going to grab my mixer and I'm just going to start creaming this together. Okay, that's perfect. Once that's nicely creamed, we're going to add in our flour. So I have two cups of all-purpose flour here, and I'm just going to sift that in as well. And there we go. And then I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Grab my mixer one last time and we're going to start incorporating this. Okay, that's perfect. I haven't even mixed that for a minute and you can see that it's really, really nice now. When I grab it together like this, you can see how well this is coming together. Really, really nice like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split this into two discs. I'll just separate that into two discs. We're going to chill this down in our fridge. So when you do make your discs, get them on your plastic wrap and you really do want to try to squish them down because they chill more evenly this way and it's just a lot easier to roll out. You know if you have a ball and you try to roll out that ball, it just doesn't work very well. So just get it in there, flatten it down as much as you can, and then that one's ready for the fridge. Fold it up, and that one's ready for the fridge as well. So I'm going to chill both of these down, and I'll be back oh, about an hour later. So my nice dough has been chilling for a good hour. We'll get a little bit of flour down. And then I'm going to roll this out. You can use any cookie cutter that you like. And I'm just going to cut out a few stars. And you can make your cookies as thick or as thin as you wish. Oh, those are going to be really, really nice. And when you are cutting your cookies, try to cut as close to the other ones as possible so that you maximize you know your surface area of your dough. The more you get out in one shot that means less rolling is required. Perfect. And then just before they go into the oven I'm just gonna put some little cherries on the top. So I've just cut up some cherries and I'm ready to go. So I've taken my cherries and cut them in half. Now what you can do is take your finger and just depress right in the middle where your cherry is going to go. So a little bit of a push. This is optional, you don't have to do it. But it just allows a little area for your cherry to sit in. Perfect. And then just grab your little cherry and just set it on top. And our last one. And those are ready for our 300 degree Fahrenheit oven. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. I'll come back. I'll tell you exactly how long I bake them when I get back. Okay, here's my tray of shortbreads. And they baked for exactly 20 minutes in my 300 degree Fahrenheit oven. And one thing that you want to do when you're baking shortbread is don't overbake them. You do not want to see any brown edges. If they're brown, that means that they're overdone. And I'll just lift one up and just show you underneath and you can see that they're not brown either on the bottom and that is totally normal that's the way they're supposed to be so I've got a nice little plate here so we can just take these off our little silpat which is this little silicone liner if you don't have that you can use parchment paper or you can just bake them directly on your sh on your cooking sheet. But these here, really, really, really delicious. I hope you try this recipe out. So I'll try one of these out. Look at that. 
Oh, really, really good. Mmm, I love shortbread. So we've come to the end of another recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel, and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.